Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome into the video. This is not a normal intro. Normally I do the intro on stream when I know that something's gonna be a video standalone. I didn't know that about this. I spent all day tunnel visioned. I did voided all social media. I only asked, hey, do y'all wanna do the album on Friday or Saturday? Y'all motherfuckers said Friday night, so I avoided everything. I did not realize that this was gonna be a diss. I didn't realize that Kendrick was on it. I didn't realize anything about this song. I thought it was just gonna be a normal song in the middle of the album reaction. That's why there was no intro, but hope y'all guys enjoy. This is genuinely my first reaction to all of it. Just a preface, if you get to like, there's a moment in this in this reaction where for like three, four minutes, we talk about the diss and we talk about uh, the like the big three. And in that moment, I ask which one's the best, but then I also double down and I'm like, all three are better than Tupac and Biggie at rapping. I know that's gonna piss people off. Y'all don't wanna hear that. I give my valid reasons, I justify myself, but if you wanna check it out, just watch the entire thing. Join us on stream. I tell y'all to do it every single video, but we literally do all of our reactions on stream. So if you want to be in the comments, you want to be in the chat, talking it up with us, consider joining. Also join Patreon. This reaction to the album will be on the channel in full eventually. It won't. It might be a week because I have to edit it down. So if you want to see the unedited every single song album reaction, consider joining Patreon. It's there along with all the other videos we've done. But other than that, hope y'all guys enjoy. Let's see what we got, like that. I'm really like that. Ooh. Gotta find my joint up on this bitch. I miss you, I miss you, I miss you. Oh my God, the piano melody. Yeah. Sticking to the code, all these hoes for the street. I put it in her nose, it's gonna make her pussy leak. Pussy niggas told ain't gonna make Why is the whistle so fucking gas? <laughs> All these hoes for the street. I put it in her nose, it's gonna make her pussy leak. Pussy niggas, I don't know the sample. Up at they sleep. You can't hear that switch, but you can't hear them niggas scream. All my hoes do shrooms, nigga. All my hoes do coke. 20 carat ring, I put my fingers down the throat. If I lose a carrot, she might choke. Hey, she gon' swallow, she'll go. Free band, nigga, bring the rats in. Cap shooters in the corner, like the pack in. She think cause she was out of bitch, she a trap, yeah. That's that shit that get you put up at the station. 36 Mafia? The same. Fall like I won a championship game. You know these hoes hungry, they gon' fuck for a name. I put her on the game, she get fucked for a chain. Got your girl in this bitch, she twirling on this dick. Hold on, now I gotta know, cause I'm not gonna listen to the fucking song the rest of the way without... Can't, if I don't know the sample, it's all I'm gonna be thinking about. What's the name of the fucking song? Darude Sandstorm? That checks out. That checks out. I hear it now. Now that you say it. Alright. That's the only one that I care about. Pussy niggas told ain't gonna wake up at they sleep. You can't hear that switch, but you can't hear them niggas scream. All my hoes do you can't hear the switch, but you can hear them scream is crazy. Got the silencer on it. If I lose a carrot, she might choke. I know she gon' swallow, she'll go. Ben, nigga, bring them rats in. Cut shooters in the corner like the pack in. She think cause she was out of bitch, she a trap, yeah. That's that shit that get you put up at the station. And the model still the same. Ball like I want a championship game. Ball like I want a championship game. I put her on the game, she get fucked for a chain. Got your girl in this bitch, she twirling on this dick. That's how. Hold once a thought from around the way. That's the song. Girl in this bitch, she's twirling on this dick. I got syrup in this That sample bitch. chop is crazy. And it's about the urks in this bitch. You murked in this bitch. All these pointers on me, baby. You know it's game time. Spring a friend, bitch. We fuck them at the same time. I'm a different nigga. No, we not the same kind. You can have that look. Bitch, you ain't mine. Sample goes crazy. Is you like that? Young throw niggas selling lows. Is you like that? All 24, you won't go. Is you like that? Niggas from the bottom really like that. Stepping in balances. If you like that. Hey, yo, I don't give a fuck what Future's talking about right now. Didn't listen. Was that K Dot? Didn't listen to a single thing Future said for the last eight bars. I was locked in on the fucking sample. 
these niggas talking out of their neck. Don't put no coughing out of your mouth. I'm way too paranoid for a threat. Hey, hey, let's get it, bro. Hey, yo, I'm way too paranoid for a threat. It's so fucking crazy. Oh my god, don't even threaten me. Because I'm too paranoid for that shit. I'll end your life. I'll end your life just for the threat, just so I don't have to deal with whatever might be coming in the future. Crazy bar. These niggas talking out of their neck. Don't put no coughing out of your mouth. I'm way too paranoid for a threat. Hey, hey, let's get it, bro. DOT, the money, power, respect. Oh, 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 he said don't pull no coughing out of your mouth, bro. Like coughing, like huh, huh, but also terrible fucking visual I just gave you right now. Pause. But coughing, like don't be, you talking reckless is going to get your body put into a coughing. Don't be pulling a coughing out of your mouth. Oh, I got way too much anxiety for any kind of threat. Just talking out of their neck. Don't pull no coughing out of your mouth. I'm way too paranoid for a threat. Hey, hey, let's get it, bro. D.O.T., the money, power, respect. The last one is better. Say yes, a lot of goofies with a check. I mean, oh, a lot of goofies with a check. I hope you're symbolic. Oh, my temperament bipolar, I choose violence. Okay, let's get it up. It's time for him to prove that he's a problem. Niggas clicking up, but it not be legit. No 40 water, tell him. Oh, yeah, yeah, get up with me. Fuck sneak. Was that a diss? To fucking Oliver Forty, if like if like the theme of the album is we're kind of going after Drake the whole album a little bit. Uh, also, you could thank Baby Keem for Kendrick's new delivery, hundred percent. Yeah, huh? yeah, get up with me, fuck sneak this first person shooter. I hope they came with three switches. I crash out like fuck rap. This Melly Mel, if I had two, got two T's with me. I'm snatching chains and burning tattoos. This up, lost too many. Oh my God, I'm snatching chains and burning tattoos. Ain't no first person shooter. Hey yo, first person shooter mode. Chains and burning tattoos. It's up. Lost too many soldiers not to play it safe. If he walks around with that stick, it ain't Andre 3K. Think I won't drop the location. I still got PTSD. Motherfuck the big three. Nigga, it's just big me. Nigga, I'm winning like that. And your best work is a light pack. Nigga, Prince outlived my jack. Nigga, bum. Your best work is a light pack. Prince outlived my jack. Oh my god. See, look, this is just me right here. Look, you don't know how mad I was when everybody in the world said that Kendrick's control verse was a diss. I was like, y'all just must not be competitive because I didn't hear anything diss worthy in there. All I heard was that he thinks he's the best as he should. It's definitely a diss because he's coming directly at, especially with the first person shooter. But why the fuck would he be coming at J. Cole? That's my concern. I don't even know why the fuck the Drake diss is happening. Am I not versed in my fucking... I'm also not a chick, so I don't really keep up with... I don't really keep up with celebrities and their fucking shit that they got going on. If there truly is a diss, what's the reason for it? What was the reason? Motherfuck the big three. Nigga, it's just big me. Nigga, boom. What? I'm really like that. And your best work is a light pack. Nigga, Prince outlived my jack. Nigga, hey. All, your dogs getting all right, all right, all right. It is a it's a straight up diss. He said Prince outlived Mike Jack, which is hard as fuck, bro. Because he has the Tiffany crown of thorns. And Drake has called himself the Michael Jackson of rap plenty of times. I feel like if Mike switched the glove for the pen. I feel like if Mike switched out the glove for the pen, like, this shit just too enticing right now, you know? Boom. What? I'm really like that. And your best work is a light pack. Nigga, Prince outlived Mike Jack. Nigga, boom. For all your dogs getting buried, that's a K with all these nines. You gonna see Pet Cemetery, nigga. Ooh. <laughs> that's a K with all these nines. You gonna see a Pet Cemetery? All your dogs get buried? <laughs> Rap's about to be real interesting for the next fucking. Oh, man. Oh. This is going to be a tough one for me, bro, because I have gone down as saying that Drake has been arguably the best rapper. Like you could put him at the top in terms of overall everything. I think Drake's number one above Eminem now because Eminem really hasn't done shit that's like groundbreaking or anything or even like attracting an American audience for the most part in a, quite some time. I, I don't even know which way I put the big three. He said, fuck the big three. He, we all know who he's talking about. He's talking about Drake, J. Cole and him. And they all have have their own fucking valid reasons for being number one k dot shit very concept driven very thought out very poetic very like breaking barriers of what rap should sound like delivery wise beat selection wise drake shit hit maker you want to fucking hit get drake on that bitch he's not gonna let you down j cole most approachable lyricism in all of rap in my opinion so like they all have their own merit would i put k dot 
at the top. I mean, I have my reasons for putting him at the top, but I also have my reasons why the other two are over him. It really just depends on what you ask me. It depends on the criteria you give me for like Ernie fucking out of the big three, which one's the best? Well, what do you mean by that? As a rapper, it's probably Kendrick for sure. J. Cole and Drake, they're very commercialized rap. Not saying that they're not they're not good because they're definitely fucking elite. But Kendrick is like at that same level of elite, le that same elite level, but without rapping very commercially. What's it called? And the Big Steppers was not a commercial album. What song was fucking commercial on that album? In 95? That was it? Yeah, that's why I'm saying that J. Cole is like what you said. Like if we're talking diss track and pins, who we talking? Oh, obviously Eminem. Eminem's got the best fucking diss pain game in the world. Except for this last one, Doomsday 2 was kind of ass, but that's because it's been Zeno diss already played out. Drake's not even close to number one. If you say that Drake is not close to number one, then you gotta be smoking crack that Future sold you in the traps of Atlanta. Because like objectively speaking, there's no way that you can say that Drake isn't arguably one of the best. He's the most versatile. He can sing and rap. He has punchline lyrics. He has hard hitting sentimental lyrics. He raps to the bitches. Like he can do it all. If you're a, a rapper coming up and you're like, damn, I got to get this track with the most exposure. Are you honest? You, you're honestly calling K Dot over Drake? There's no way. There's no way you're calling K Dot or J. Cole over Drake. You think Four Bat Song? Date at eight. You think that track is going number seven in the world from an unknown person with J. Cole or fucking Kendrick? Absolutely not. Get the fuck out of here. Actually, ban him right now. Jeff, thousand minute fucking timeout. Just kidding. But really, objectively speaking, Drake belongs in the top, for sure, top 10. Look, look, look. We're fucking, we're fucking way off topic. But this is the thing right here. Look, I'm about to tell you as a middle child, we got the boomers and the Gen X, and then we got millennials, Gen Z motherfuckers, right? Millennials are caught in the crossfire. Kendrick, J. Cole, and Drake, all three better rappers than Tupac and Biggie. All three are better rappers than Tupac and Biggie, and it's not even fucking close. And for the old heads that are mad, it's just the natural progression and evolution of music. Rappers get better. Shit gets more technical. You're telling me Michael Jordan played against Victor Wimbiyama? You're telling me that Steph Curry wouldn't light up for 65 a game in 1983? We done with the 90s, Mixtel! <laughs> In Jordan's era, Jordan was the best, but that era was nowhere near as athletic or skilled as what LeBron has to play against. That's it. That's, that's the fact. It's a fact. Look at the game. Look at the way that it's played. Everybody's faster, stronger, and bigger. Same thing for rap. Tupac was the greatest at his time. Biggie was the greatest at their time. Together, rappers are just better today. All that to say, I don't know why the fuck we're dissing Drake. For your dogs getting buried, that's a K with all these nines. He gon' see Pet Cemetery, nigga. Bro, Tupac ain't coming up with K to all these nines as a Pet Cemetery. Tupac is not coming up with that, okay? Getting buried, that's a K with all these nines. He gon' see Pet Cemetery, nigga. Buying dope, villa selling dope, is you like that? Kicking dogs, kicking in dogs, is you like that? Young throw, nigga selling laws, is you like that? All 24, you won't go, is you like that? Niggas from the bottom, really like that. Stepping in balances, if you like that. Pop another bottle, if you like that. Bro. Oh my god. Uh. Hey, yo, Metro and Future, they were like, we just paid 1.5 milli for both of these fucking samples. We're letting this bitch ride out. Here's a minute of beat just so we can get our money's worth. Selling dope, is you like that? Kicking those, kicking in those, is you like that? Young though, nigga selling lows, is you like that? All 24, you won't go, is you like that? Niggas from the bottom really like that. Stepping in balances, if you like that. Pop another bottle, if you like that. Came with banging dope, nigga was John slanging powder. Walk in a strip club, make it rain for three hours. Locked in and now I got my fellow in my driver. God, bro, Metro booming. Like Nevada. Surfed out outside, white interior lasagna. Hundred thousand, I just cashed out on the sound. 
I don't like fade outs, first off. Most of y'all know that by now, I feel like. Are you jumping that or are you not jumping that? J. Cole and Eminem definitely need to, uh, not Eminem, J. Cole and, and Drake, they definitely need to respond. If you're responding to the little petty motherfuckers, g Easy Clears, banned. Bro, if you're responding to the little motherfuckers here and there, oh, we got a little beef, oh, Tyga dissed me, oh, fucking this person dissed me, let me respond over here. If you're responding to them and you don't respond to J, and you don't respond to fucking Kendrick, you're bitch made. That's it. Why can you only pick on the little guy? Why can you not go after somebody who is at your or potentially above your stature? If neither one of them responds, bitch made. Song was gas though. Samples were crazy. Uh, that's a 10 of a track. I mean, that's probably the most entertaining track of all of them so far. RDC got a skit? Let's watch it right now. Fuck it. This is just for y'all and Patreon. Hey, YouTube, I fucking tell you every time. Come to Patreon. Come to fucking Twitch. Because you're not going to see the RDC skit. I promise you.